Hi there, my name is Sandy Esprit and today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to do this week's hairstyle which is a wash and go. I had just finished washing my hair so you might as well click that subscribe button, click that notification bell so that you don't miss another video. I'm starting off with Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. I swear that thing smells like what dreams are made of. It is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. After separating my hair into three parts, I'm going to take one of the parts there and start using the uh, shingling method. I believe that's what it's called. Using small sections. I'm using the Pro's Styling Gel. This is actually a customized gel. I love that Pro's hair does this because then you get what you actually want. And since I'm going for a more crunchy hold, a more hold hold, I've been, I decided I was gonna be a little more generous with the application of the gel. Of course, when it comes to hairstyle, how much product you put on your freshly washed hair is key, right? So I'm going in and I'm detangling using the Tangle Teaser. Again, using just small sections. And I love, this is why a good conditioner when washing your hair is key. Because a good conditioner allows for your hair to be able to be detangled quite easily. Slip is important. I will always say this. I, this is one hill I don't think will be debated. Slip is important when using a conditioner and post wash, it makes all the difference when, you know, styling your hair. So in this particular case, I am using small sections, applying the gel generously on these small sections. And uh, the gel is not really like hydrating or moisturizing, which is why I used a leave-in conditioner. And typically that's what I do. Uh, every time I'm going to use a gel, trust and believe, there will be some kind of a moisturizing agent uh, that I will be using to go along with it. So first is the moisture milk. I'm moving on to the second section there. I'm detangling every section to allow easy product, um, I want to say displacement, but really application. I don't know why displacement came into my head but it did and my clumps are going to be a lot thicker than normal not a lot thicker but thick enough thicker than I usually do because I really wanted to have the curl definition I just took off my bathrobe because I realized like it was getting in the way of my hair uh, when it is stretched out as you can see it it does have some length um, however when it dries it doesn't typically dry the way it goes wet. I, I don't know how to say it. Mind you, I do air dry. I don't like, I should probably air dry if I want it to be. <laughs> like, I know I, I should air dry, uh, but I, I choose not to simply because of time. I typically have like kids that I'm running after. So any chance I get to wash and style my hair for the week, I take advantage of the time um, because my girls are quite young. I want to be in and out as much as possible but i'm really liking what i am seeing i love the way the gel is bringing the hair together and i'm really seeing curl definition um and i it, it's just really looking good so i'm quite satisfied now this time i decided to separate my hair differently because i wanted to style my hair like do the wash and go quite differently i wanted more volume at the top kind of like have it standing up and I thought this would make some kind of a difference, you know, instead of having like that middle part to have more of an Afro looking wash and go. I hope that makes sense. I was inspired by another influencer that I had seen on Instagram and I absolutely loved the way her wash and goes had been looking. And so I was like, oh, I would like to try that. Um, and so hence the reason why I thought maybe, hey, if I have a top, like a separated top part, I can style my hair differently without so much of a middle part and that's what I'm doing here still applying the same technique I've been using in all of the other parts and really being generous with the gel there and I'm noticing my ends are kind of like starting to unravel so I'm going back in there with the gel hence the reason why you're gonna see me go back into my hair and um, yeah but it's it's really all about the curls at this point making sure that the gel is applied from root to end normally i would i wouldn't do the roots but i really was like let me try let me try a little something different um really concentrating on the whole hair and you can see the curl definition there now i should have separated that part right there um that large clump there but i did not that was 
that was a fail on my part. Now, unfortunately, my my battery did die. Unfortunately, just as I was about to reach the end there, so um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the entire application there. But I I am uh, doing the front there and adding it to the front of my hair. I thought it would help. Uh, didn't really like the end result. Isn't really. You're gonna see. It's not exactly what I had envisioned. But yeah, I was hoping like to do a bang type situation. But the front of my hair has a different curl pattern than the back of my hair, and it's it's a lot looser and, and hangs more. So um, it didn't quite come out. Felt like cousin it at some point because there was so much hair at the front of my hair there. So anyways, this is the end result. My hair is still very much wet, and this is what it looked like dried. So a uh, lots of curl. Uh, definition there which I love um, please click subscribe this is what it looked like I'm pleased with it and I'll see you guys next time